what's going on. It's Massive Joe's Raw Review, and I'm coming to you from MassiveJoes.com. Awesome Raw Review for the viewers at home today. You have demanded them. You have asked for them, and here they are, the series of Raw Reviews on the all-new Arnold Series range of products coming straight up with the very first pre-workout supplement from Muscle Farm Arnold Series. Of course, it's called Arnold Iron Pump. Let's get straight into it, show you exactly what it's in it, and show you exactly what it's gonna do, man. That's not gonna get it done. We're gonna print it ourselves off one of these big bitches right here, man. Starting from the top, got yourself a massive dose of vitamin C in the house. Help with absorption, then some niacin in there, some B6, B12, and some calcium. Then let's get into the good stuff, man. This pre-workout supplement is split into two parts. You got your nitric oxide blend, which are your pump products, and your energy and central nervous system, or CNS blend, which is your stimulants, man. Starting with the nitric oxide blend, got yourself some L-arginine nitrate for muscle pumps. Got yourself L-glycine for muscle pumps. Got yourself agmatine sulfate for muscle pumps. Got yourself L-orthanine for muscle pumps. Got yourself beetroot extract, which yields trimethylglycine, aka TMG for muscle pumps. Got yourself some Hawthorne berry powder for muscle pumps. Hawthorne berry powder is actually pretty cool, man. That stuff has been shown to increase the amount of blood pumped out of the heart. So when, you, when, you, when your heart pumps, man, when it beats, it increases the amount of blood that that bitch pumps out to the rest of your body, man. Then we move on to the energy and CNS blend. Got yourself some choline bite trait across the blood brain barrier, help you focus. Got yourself L tyrosine, does the same thing. Some caffeine anhydrous as your stimulant. And then you've got some vinpocetine down there, which is actually another nitric oxide booster. Probably would have taken that bitch, moved that bitch up into the nitric oxide blend. Anyway, that's what's in it. Pretty safe to say it's a muscle pump and stimulant pre-workout supplement, man. Couple of things to note. You know what, I'ma leave that for the effects part. We're gonna move straight into how it tastes and how it mixes. Comes in three flavors. Comes in... Fruit punch. Comes in... Watermelon. Comes in my personal favorite, which is why the tub is open, because it's actually my personal tub. The raspberry lemonade. In terms of how it mixes, man, let me grab ourselves a scoop in here, if I can find the scoop. There we go. So the scoop size is just over five grams, so it's not that big a scoop. That's the scoop size, that's my hand, so you can get a little bit of a uh, perspective on the shit, man. So six gram scoop, gonna throw that in there, a glass of water, got a spoon in there. Drop that in there like that, let it rain, let it rain. I'm just gotta lick all the pat off my fingers, man. Got myself. All dirty in this bitch. Give it a few stirs of the spoon, man. And you can see it mixes pretty well. You do have some sinkers in there. You ain't got no floaters. It's quite a small serving size and it does mix, as you can see, in a glass with a spoon. So I would go so far as to say, blender ball is not required. For this here Arnold Iron Pump pre-workout supplement. In terms of how it tastes, It tastes pretty damn good, man. It's not the best tasting pre-workout supplement we've seen thus far, by far. But it tastes pretty good. It is something that you do actually enjoy, enjoy drinking, enjoy looking, like, looking, look forward to drinking, man. I would say the best flavor in my personal opinion is the raspberry lemonade. Second best flavor is this here watermelon. Third best flavor, or the worst flavor, is the fruit punch. It's an American fruit punch, man, which means us Australians are gonna be adverse to the flavor. Because we ain't like that American fruit punch, generally speaking, in terms of the effects. Because that's what you're taking your pre-workout for. You don't give a single f if it tastes good. If it ain't gonna work, you ain't gonna buy this shit, man. Couple of things I gotta point out with this here. I am pumped before I get into the effects. There's a few things that is quite clearly missing when you stack it up, when you compare it to other pre-workout supplements. The first thing is, there's no beta alanine in this bitch, which 
For a lot of people is a good thing because a lot of people don't like the, the ants under your skin itchiness, the want to rip your face off itchiness that beta alanine gives you. So if you don't like beta alanine, this is pretty much one of the only pre-workout supplements on the market at the moment that doesn't have beta alanine in it. So if you don't like beta alanine, iron pump is for you. The other main thing it's missing is any type of creatine. There's no creatine in this product whatsoever. No creatine nitrate, no creatine monohydrate, no creatine hydrochloride, no creatine whatsoever. And to be honest, I don't really know why they've done that. There's no real benefit to not putting creatine in your pre-workout supplement. It doesn't react with anything to, to make one of the effects not work or there's just no reason for it. I don't know why there's not creatine in there other than the fact that Muscle Farm who make this product do make separate creatine supplements so maybe they're trying to get you to stack them bitches together, man. Apart from that, I can't really think of a reason why there's not creatine in there but those of you who follow Massive Joes would know that we preach creatine post-workout anyway. So we don't give a single f if you put creatine pre-workout because we're telling you to take it post-workout with carbs for maximum absorption anyway. So the fact that it doesn't have creatine, to me, does not bother me at all. The third thing it's missing as a pump pre-workout supplement is GPLC. The reason why they haven't put GPLC in there is because GPLC is expensive as f a lot of companies actually did put it in pre-workouts and end up taking it out because it's just too damn expensive to make. And then finally, the one thing it's missing, which I add to all of my pre-workout supplements anyway, is acetyl-L-carnitine. That being said, the effects on this here Arnold Iron Pump, I would say in terms of muscle pumps, from a pre-workout supplement by itself, so without adding your own agmatine or GPLC, just taking the supplement, the muscle pump effect is possibly the best muscle pump we have seen thus far. The few times that I've trained on it, man, I have noticed just stupid muscle pumps and really, really good vascularity. I am lean at the moment. I'm, I'm, I, I, as I'm shooting this raw review, I'm one week out from a show, so I'm, I'm pretty lean and vascularity is going to be there anyway, but vascularity was definitely enhanced taking the iron pump. Muscle pumps were really, really good. So in terms of muscle pump, it definitely gets the job done. In terms of mental focus and stimulation, I'm gonna be honest with the viewers at home, man. I took one scoop of this stuff. The, there's 30 serves per tub, 30 scoops per tub. They tell you to take one scoop. I took one scoop, didn't do a whole lot. Like I said, I'm one week out for a contest. So there's not a whole lot of fuel to work with anyway. But when I bumped it up to one and a half scoops, man, I was dialed in. I was very well physically stimulated. I had no problem focusing. The mental focus was up. So on one and a half scoops, I think the mental focus and the physical stimulation is on point, man. It's pretty much perfect. Muscle pumps are perfect. If you don't like beta alanine, this is the pre-workout supplement for you. If you're looking for more of a performance pre-workout supplement, probably look somewhere else. Guys, that is Massive Joe's Raw Review on the all new Muscle Farm Arnold Schwarzenegger Series, Arnold Series Iron Pump Pre-Workout Supplement. Guys, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Raw Review. And guys, that is Massive Joe's Raw Review. And I'm coming to you from MassiveJoe's.com.